What's good people? Today we are in SW4 at a 1.5 million pound project. I'm with my good friend Aaron and he's going to take us through inside, let us know how he secured this project and what he's going to be doing with it. Welcome back to my channel. My name's Ethan Hammond, property developer based in South London. Let's not waste any time and check out this project. All right, so Aaron, we saw the post on Instagram. We've seen you before on this channel. They already know what you're about. So tell us, how does this project differ from your last one? Um, so this project is a much bigger project. Um, this over three floors, we're converting a ground floor first floor to two separate units. And we're looking to get three two bed flats out of this unit. Um, so it's a much bigger deal, I'd say, but very similar to the last deal. We're just doing more in one deal. Yeah, okay, that's that's lit. So, so what is actually going on here? So as we step in here, so this was the original basement flat? Yeah, basement flat, the one bed. Okay, and then looking at here, there was originally stairs here, right? Yeah. So this was leading up into the flat above? So before the flats weren't split properly. So for example, for this flat, it was split in the 1980s. It had, it was on its own meters. It had its own electrics, gas, however, there was still stairs leading into the flats upstairs, which isn't ideal, especially if you look at the solar flats. So what we've done here, this will still be the corridor. We've removed the stairs and we'll be putting a bathroom there. Um, I feel like using this space effectively to, is really good. And that's what we try to do here. So as you can see, this, yeah, it's been closed up. And above, that's where the second bathroom to the ground floor that's gonna go as well. Okay, so you're essentially stacking the bathrooms on top of each other and probably yeah. ease of like waste pipe and plumbing and things like that. Yeah. So walking in here, this is gonna be all boxed off and you're gonna kind of have like a not long type narrow bathroom sort of thing. Funny enough, it's not even gonna go into this side. So the plan here, the bath is gonna go there. Yeah. Um, we wanna create a larger bathroom. Yeah. So being able to use this space effectively is what we're going for. So the bath's gonna lean against there. We're gonna have the basin and a hanging toilet on this side instead of having the bath on this side. So, you know, you wanna have a big bathroom. It's yeah. a good selling point. So that's that's what we've, we've decided to do. Okay, nice, nice, nice. So now tell me about what is going on in this bedroom. This looks like a original front room. Yeah, so this is remain in the front room. Um, what we've done here, we'll be moving the door. As you know, the bathroom's gonna be there. So the access point to the door would be as you walk in. First thing is the front door, living area door to walk into here. This is gonna be a, a huge open plan living area. We're gonna have the kitchen along the wall there, um, an L-shaped kitchen, and we've created an access way for the two bedrooms through that door there. So just being able to use the space effectively and make sure it looks as big as possible. That's what we've done here. We've removed the chimney breasts, which were here. It would have been a nice feature to have. However, we want to maximize space with this. So to give a better feel, the chimney breasts had to go, unfortunately. Okay, so I'm getting this right. I'm now understanding it a bit more. So this project is essentially a reconfiguration in itself, a one to two bedroom. Yeah. So this was originally a one bedroom basement flat yeah. and we're reconfiguring it to a two bedroom. Okay, I think it just, I just needed to make that clear for the viewers because there's so much going on here. Yeah. yeah. I just needed to make that clear. So we've got an L-shaped kitchen going over there. We've removed the chimney breasts and now it's going to be a nice big open plan kitchen. Kitchen, yeah. uh, kitchen like dining room. And we know that works, don't we? Especially yeah. in this day and age and with our end users where we're looking at young professionals professionals they love this stuff yes. some people love it some people say they hate it because they don't know if their food smelling up the whole house but you know it's, it's, it's modern living it's modern living now it's isn't modern. it it's it's what what's the new builds it's what looks nice yeah, and it's what sells as well what sells exactly so now lead me on to the next room which is yeah. going to be your first bedroom yeah the first bedroom and, so, and was this the original bedroom this was the original bedroom yeah um so as you can see, it's a large double room. Um, for my last project, I took some things away. I noticed with the area research, there's everything that sells, it's all based on having two large double rooms, two comfortable double rooms, just an area research. So that's what we made sure we're getting from all these flats, just because, you know, we don't want to have them on the market for a while and we want to deliver a really good product and have been able to tap into different markets as well. So yeah, this is the double bedroom, outlooks the garden. Um, 
Yeah, it's just quite a spacious room. Okay, so in hit this room again, guessing I can see, remove the chimney breast again here. Yep. And this has all been reboarded, re so you're gonna go reboarded, rewired, re yep. everything. Are you changing the windows or are you keeping the windows the same? Nah, keeping the windows the same. We're just gonna, um, yeah, just make sure they look good, sand them down, keeping that feature. We wanna keep that Victoria feel. We've taken out the chimney breast, but we're gonna do as much to keep the Victoria feel through the flat. Yeah, and that's what people like. And two big bedroom cells, especially yeah. when you're doing this type of project, as you would have learned from your last one, yeah. you wouldn't be able to make sure you, you build a product where you have two double bedrooms and not like a 1.5, where you're not hitting the maximum. So to achieve the maximum value, you wanna be getting, you know, two good sized bedrooms. Definitely. So yeah, lead me on to the next room. So the next bedroom is a bit different. Um, as I said earlier, we want to tap into different markets um, and deliver products for more people on the market. So this bedroom is going to have access to the garden. So this flat will have like a patio area with nice grass outside, looks really nice, really neat. And we decided to add an ensuite bedroom into this room just because it attracts two different markets. We can attract the sharers, yeah. the brothers and sisters are looking to buy, yeah. or yeah. just two friends. So families can stay in here and also young professionals, as you said, and brothers and sisters or people, friends that are looking to buy together. So that's why we've added the additional ensuite room. Oh, that makes so much sense. So originally, I'm guessing this was the kitchen. Yeah, so this was the kitchen and the bathroom. So it was a bit weird we had the kitchen along this this side and the bathroom here so that's all been moved we still have the boiler here which we're not going to move um okay and, so what how are you going to basically it's going to be in like wardrobes or something yeah so it's going to be boarded up in wardrobes or a cupboard around it we haven't decided yet but we'll make sure it fits the aesthetic aesthetic of the room no 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 i really do like this i just need to understand where is the actual ensuite gonna go so where the door frame is now. Yeah. As I said earlier, the bath would go along here. So we're gonna have the shower in here with another toilet and a basin. So this is, yeah, gonna be the ensuite room with the leading onto the back of the bar. Okay, so it's gonna be back to back. Yeah. Serious, serious. No, I really like the way that you guys have used the space creatively. Two bedroom, two ensuite in SW4. Tell me, what, what are you looking for at the end of it? Whew. At the end, I, I'd say I'm looking between 485 and 525. Um, so I'm content with both, but that's only because we purchased at the right price this time. We managed to get really low um, for what flats do sell for in the area. So being able to just spend a bit extra on the refurb and making it a premium product. Um, well, yeah, we've been able to do that just because of the price we purchased there. No, 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 I like it, I like it a lot. So in terms of size-wise as well, because a lot of people that look into do this strategy as well, they're always like, Ethan, what are the size requirements? What sizes do you look for? So this basement flat, to be able to achieve the two bedroom, two en suite, yeah. how big is it in square meters? Um, in square meters, it's 58 square meters. Um, what I noticed in the SW4, SW9 area, you want to focus for any, yeah, flats above the 55 square meter size, just because, you know, you want to be able to have your large double rooms, a lot of space for people to walk around and have a big, big feel as well. So anything above 55 square meters, but this exact one was 58 square meters. Okay, yeah, and that's why I always say to people, like, it always depends but as a rule of thumb, I look over, over anything over 50 square meters, yeah. but it also depends on where you are and your end user. Cause like people buy for, uh, pay for postcodes around here. Yeah. So even with like 55s and your low 50s, they're still paying for it, but yeah. it depends Final. what what you're gonna get on the end of it and the market and your end value yeah. and your end uh, consumers. But yeah, no, I really like this project. Thank you for bringing us around this, but we're not done here yet, are we? But I think we're gonna save this for another day or another, I'll put this in another video. So yeah. I'll split this up into two videos. A part two of taking us through Aaron's 1.5 million pound project, because if we do all this in all in one, it will take a long time. Yeah, take a lot of <laughs> So we'll split this up. But for now guys, we're going to end it here and you're gonna to have to stay tuned for part two as we go through this three, three part project, three yeah. part project. Three yeah. Part. 
three-part project as Aaron reconfigures two one-bedroom flats into three two-bedroom flats. Crazy. But yeah, guys, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more.